Well, that, that definitely is an issue as to uh, how long after the last de-icing that the aircraft uh, was out in the open without any uh, additional uh, de-icing uh, fluid being applied to it. They de-iced the airplane several times before we took off. They had closed down the airport just before we departed uh, to plow it. They came out and they de-iced that airplane at least two or three times. Uh, we had never been confronted with jet fuel on the surface so the uh, idea of a post-crash fire was always there. Paramedic Gene Windsor spoke of a middle-aged man, a crash victim still missing, who gave his life for five others. Yes, there was a, a sixth man clinging to the wreckage. And as I dropped the flotation devices, he handed these devices to the other people who were clinging around him on the wreckage. When the helicopter returned for that sixth man, he'd gone under. Lenny Skutnik arrived at the crash scene on his way home from work at the Congressional Budget Office. He jumped into the river when he saw a woman lose her grip on a rescue line. If she's going to drown, I didn't go get her because nobody else was going to. I just felt I, I did what was my instinct, I guess. It's just in my heart. just felt really sorry for the girl. Skutnik says he doesn't consider himself a hero. But after examining the crash scene in his helicopter today, President Reagan said he does. Lenny Skutnik. I think it picked him out as particularly to be a hero, but without hesitation, there he was, and he saved her life. 